Congratulations, you are accepted to Purdue University. Now what? So if you are watching this video at the time of the release, chances are you applied for early action for Purdue University. If not, then it could be in the future. But either way, I think this video is going to help you out and give you some insights on what you should know after you're accepted to Purdue University. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to try to get the technical stuff out of the way first before we move on to the fun part. The first thing you should do is to accept your acceptance letter. If you know the Purdue is your top choice and you're pretty sure that that's where you want to go, then just do it. I know the deadline is in May 1st, so you have a few months to make up your mind, but I mean, if you're sure, sure, the Purdue is where you want to go, then might as well do this as early as possible because there's stuff that, that's going to happen later on and you don't want to like accumulate everything to the last minute. So the sooner you do it, the better. And talking about acceptance letter, there's also user ID and password specifically for you that you can use to start your career account. It's basically a portal that has all the information you might need as a Purdue student. I don't remember exactly how to set it up because it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure there's instruction in the acceptance letter, so pay attention to that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the first thing you should do. Moving on. Um, so over the last year or two, there's been a trend. People watch my video and now everyone wants to go to Purdue University. I'm just kidding. So basically what is happening is that Purdue has been accepting way more students than they could accommodate. So as a result, a lot of students, especially freshmen, don't have housing on campus. If you do plan on living on campus, I recommend applying for housing as soon as possible. The deadline is April 15th, so do it way before then. That being said, there's a little trick. Here at Purdue University, there's a thing called learning communities. If you sign up for learning communities, you are most of the time guaranteed a housing assignment depends on which learning communities you're in. Now, if you don't know what learning communities are, basically you live on the same floor, you take some classes together, you see same people all the time. It's a really nice way to meet new friends and make new connection and get some hands-on experience. The real benefit here is the housing assignment. Students who sign up for learning communities are usually put into Sharif Earhart, Harrison, Wiley, Meredith South, that's a really nice one. If you want to maximize your chance of getting an on-campus housing as a freshman, then I really do recommend looking into the learning communities. Another thing to keep in mind is that certain organizations and clubs here at Purdue University and programs might have earlier deadlines, so you might have to look into those. When I came to Purdue University, I wanted to join the Purdue Choir, and I looked into it. Deadline was June 1st. That was way before I even got my foot onto Purdue campus. So if, you, if I didn't look into it, I wouldn't have joined Purdue Choir because the deadline was super early. So it depends on what you're interested in, you might have to look into those. Most colleges, clubs here at Purdue don't have sign up until fall semester. But you know, there's always exceptions and you just gotta look into it by yourself. At the end of the day, we all have to do our own research and follow our own path. Last thing that I think you should do after you got your acceptance letter is to sign up for Boiler Gold Rush, also known as BGR, and it's basically a freshman orientation. It's really fun, you get to meet new people, learn the traditions at Purdue University, and get to see places on campus, getting used to the vibes and the, the layout of the whole campus. You do have to pay, I believe, 300 bucks, but it might just be the best 300 bucks you spend because um, this will be one of the best experiences you will have at Purdue University. And yeah, it's just super fun. I really think you should consider signing up for it. <laughs> In case you're wondering, that is the Purdue mascot, the Boilermaker Special. <laughs> they wander around campus and it's just super fun to see them around. I think something worth mentioning is that if you want to learn more about Purdue, um, I recommend following Purdue social media account. And if you want to learn more about the social aspect of Purdue, then check out Purdue Memes, um, Purdue Barstool, and Purdue Chicks on Instagram. They're really fun. So arguably one of the most well-known tradition at Purdue is not to walk under the bell tower or you're not going to graduate in four years. A friend of mine actually did it because he was tricked into doing that. Don't fall for it. Don't be so gullible. If you walk under the bell tower, you're going to stay here for more than four years and that is the risk you do not want to take. The second tradition is called Fountain Run. It's pretty much what it sounds like. Purdue has several 
fountains and you're gonna run through them during the Boiler Gold Rush week. It's really fun, you can always do after Boiler Gold Rush, but it's more fun when you do it with friends, so I highly recommend signing up for BGR. We have mentioned this before, but the Purdue mascot is the Boilermaker Special, basically is the train. We have the biggest mascot in the whole nation, I believe. So the path behind me is called the Hello Walk. What you should technically do is wave, smile, and say hello to every person you meet along this path. That being said, I haven't done it. I haven't seen anyone who've done it. I think people are just too busy to pay attention to it. Um, so it's a unfulfilled tradition in a way. The second to last tradition is called jumping the tracks. It's not the most conspicuous thing ever, but there are two metal bars behind me outside of walk outside or next to the bell tower. These are supposed to represent the train track. And during the week of BGR, you're gonna lock arm with your team buddies and you're gonna jump over the track this represents a transition, a new beginning, the transition to college. And that's pretty much what it is. And finally, the last tradition that I know of, that I can think of right now, is laying down the Slater Hill. It's next to Owen Hall. Obviously, it works if there's no, oh my god. I actually did not lay down Slater Hill last year because I missed the opportunity. Um, I'm still looking forward to it. That's something I'm gonna do this year. So it is getting dark, which means I'm gonna try to wrap up this video with some of the other stuff I think you should know. Um, first things first, um, this is something that has happened a lot of time. It's so it has happened so many times that it's part of the meme culture now and that is freshmen walking in the bike lane. Second thing, if you're a sophomore by credits, no one wants to know. And finally, IU sucks. And I think that's all I have for today. I honestly cannot think of anything else. I asked all my friends, hey, do you think if there's anything I should include? What they said already been mentioned so. so i'm just gonna end this video here thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something new um if you do decide to go to Purdue university let me know i would love to catch up and hang out with y'all until then i'll see you guys in the next video bye